Hey guys, and welcome back to this course on how to create your own drone chassis in Tinkercad. Uh, what we were doing in the last lesson was arranging these four ductings together, to, and we were connecting them together using this kind of cylinder. Uh, in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to create, add PCB mountings to our drone chassis, so we can mount our flight controller. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to start adding a couple more circles in, uh, cylinders in even. So um, what I'm going to do is just click on cylinder here and just pop it in the middle there. Um, and I'm going to change the size of the cylinder to 3mm uh, by 3mm. So quite thin and what we need to do is change the height again to 6 mil, if it'll do 6 mil there, perfect. And then once again what we need to do is we need to put a hole through the middle. Uh, so I'm going to go on this striped cylinder here um, and I can pop that in the middle there. Um, and at the moment that's going to cut that um, cylinder right out so I need to change the size. Um, I'm going to change the size to about 1 or 1.5 mil, um, let's go for 1.5 mil by 1.5 mil and again I'm just going to change the height there to 6 mil. Um, what you might need to do is you might need to zoom in um, on these two kind of small objects. Um, what you can do is on the left, this left hand side you can go back to a home view, um, you can fit all in the view um, you can zoom in and you can zoom out as well. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in there or you might also find that you need to you can use your um, mouse to just scroll in and out using the scroll wheel. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these two shapes um, I'm just going to click on both of them and just press and um, press and hold shift um, and I need to align them together again so I'm just going to align these two shapes together and I'm just going to click and just make sure they're both highlighted there because what I need to do is group them together again. You'll find a lot of what you do in Tinkercad is grouping things together. And now what I need to do is I'm just going to select my mounting that I just created and my the rest of my chassis because again what I need to do is I need to align these two parts together so that the PCB is right in the center there and I'm just going to change to my top view here um, just to make it a little bit easier because what I need to do is I need to press and hold shift on my keyboard again and I'm just going to click and just drag that across and I'm going to drag that across by uh, 19 mil there Ooh. So positive 19 and minus 19 doesn't really make that much difference. And once I've done that, um, I'm going to actually click on my PCB mounting there. And I might just need to ungroup it for the time being. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select them two shapes of my PCB mounting. Um, it might have been slightly easier to actually duplicate it whilst it was still grouped. So let's just go back there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that first. So I'm just going to click on duplicate and move one over to the other side there. I'm just going to move that over by 38 mil. There we go. Uh, so we've got two mountings on either side. Um, and then we can start to ungroup them two mountings there. So I'm just going to ungroup them. So we've got two ungrouped mountings on either side of our drone. And then I'm just going to select the everything again in my work plane here. So I'm just going to click and select everything just by dragging over the top of it. This little square should have five shapes selected. And then um, if I group them all together, you should hopefully see that we've got 
two mountings on either side of our drone.